red. Strangers on your left hand side, all of whom you are never ever going to see ever again. And again, as we move forward, we are moving into our back lot. We're only going to be on this tram for a solid three to five minutes. It's a very, very short trip. But during this time that we are on the tram, if there's any serious emergency of any kind, if you have a serious emergency specifically, make sure to grab and pull that red emergency cord that runs along the center of the ceiling of the tram. I'll go back to assist you as soon as it's safe to do so. Please, no smoking, no vaping of any kind on the tour. Remain seated at all times. Keep those arms and legs inside the vehicle. And as we move forward, raise your hands. I'm sure y'all were brought here against your will, but welcome anyway. Obviously, you are in the very heart of horror movies here at Universal Studios. As we move forward, there is one name that is specifically synonymous with the horror genre, and that name is Blumhouse, the one right there on your screens, everybody. That is the company that is behind some of the most frightening film franchises in modern horror. And on tonight's Terror Tram experience, we are going to be taking you to the place where the horror movie was born. And it was right here, the world-famous Universal Studios backlot. But like all great horror movies, there is always a twist, of course. And for tonight's twist, we are going to be dropping you off. You're going to have to walk through some of the most iconic sets in horror history. One of which includes the Psycho, uh, psycho sets from Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 classic Psycho. We're also going to be walking through uh, the disaster site set of Four of the Worlds, directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Tom Cruise, made in 2005. But as you're walking through the most iconic sets in horror history, you're also going to be coming face to face with some of the most famous characters from Blumhouse films. And if you really think about the scariest setting for a horror movie, it's always different for everybody. But for me personally, the answer for the scariest setting is right there in the Blumhouse name and logo. It is a house, just a place that's supposed to be safe, a, pla a place where nothing can possibly go wrong. And you know what I'm talking about, a stranger that arrives at your front door in the dead of night, a phone that rings and rings and rings, or even a little girl's doll that starts acting a little weird. And if you really think about it, houses are portals to the unknown. And when you step through that door, you never know what's going to be waiting for you on the other side. So as we move forward, welcome to Terror Tram, enter the Blumhouse. Someone. 
Now, I don't know about y'all, but I do not like dolls. Thankfully, I do not have to interact with any tonight, but y'all might. That is right. If you look over here on your left-hand side, it looks like Megan is waiting to say hi to you. And of course, this is as far as our driver and I are going to take you. You're just going to have to walk through the rest of our show a lot. So make sure to watch those arms and legs as those gates open up. Make sure to grab all of your valuables, all of your belongings. Watch your step and enjoy your stroll. Say hi to Megan for me. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Megan.
Oh, the birds are part of this. <laughs> oh shit, you got me. Oh wait, what was it called? We get on the bus. Oh, we're not. We don't go through note. We used to go through note last time. I thought we did. Maybe we did. Yeah, we did last time. That was that it? Huh? I think it was. Welcome back aboard the tram. My name is Dennis, and our driver's name is Aiden. Looks like you survived the terror tram. Well, at least some of you did. <laughs> Now you can just sit back and relax as we take you back to the park where you can experience the rest of the world.